Well, this is what I'm looking to make. This is uh, the tension control rod mount for the uh, ball joint mod. Uh, it'll get bent a couple of spots there. Uh, anyway, looking to get it milled out. All right, one thing I did do on this one was uh, I wire wheeled off the mill scale. Mill scale is extremely hard, and I got to thinking about it. I wonder if that's what toasted my bits, my cutters, on the last couple uh, just calibration testing tests kind of thing I was doing. Uh, because they were ramping down gradually, you know. So, I mean, it spent a couple seconds just trying to cut through the mill scale. And it, and it makes me wonder if that's part of what was uh, dulling them up, uh, killing them. So we'll find out. Contact finally. Ten on the spindle and 150 on the feed, so that makes it uh, about 4,500. 21 inch per minute. So I'm at about 5,000 RPM and 22 inches per minute. This is so nice having the uh, windows and the uh, chip containment up. Starting to do the tabs. recipe. We'll see how the chamfer does. Not that it's really needed for this. Looks like I can stop at a couple of passes early too. I didn't break a cutter. I have a finished part. And it's cob end mill. So I'm expecting to see those uh, striations. You know, the lines. Chamfering looks decent. You know, I could probably even uh, figure out how to register it, but I'm not gonna. I'll wire wheel whatever burrs on the backside there. Okay, let's see here. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to cut those out. All right, now we'll cut the tabs out. Put a smoother, uh, finer grit on here than I usually have.
I don't know, imagine me working in the shop without gloves on. Granted, I don't give two hoots about the surface finish on the metal. It'll end up on a suspension part. But that is certainly close enough for what uh, I am looking to uh, do. And the, and the whole point of the, the dips in here, uh, I may it, when I'm laser cutting it, that won't happen. That'll just be flat across there. Uh, those are there simply because I planned on doing it with an end mill, and I needed clearance to a sharp corner there because this is see that fits into a slot that's that part there awesome finally 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 making some uh, progress I uh, I can't decide if I want to make two I'm gonna print the uh, I gotta find the the CAD print and then uh, compare it. And if it checks out okay on the CAD print, I'll uh, we'll go ahead and probably make uh, some more of these uh, while I have it set up and figured out and running. Now I can take this recipe basically that I had running on here and start cutting out some of the other parts. Oh, see, these are what I was talking about with wanting to go down lower. I'm not quite sure how to get rid of those. Maybe those are just nature of the beast, but at least uh, this time they're really thin and just about coming off. It does that slow feed down. If you look at the, the Z-ball screw, it is turning. It is lowering it. Why it does that, I have no clue. Part of the tool change uh, macro? I don't know. Now the mill's still running in the background, you can hear that. Uh, just uploaded that, figured I'd shoot a picture of this. The, uh, I could probably make the tabs a good bit, uh, maybe not a good bit thinner, but, you know, 25% thinner. But then again, it's it's not really uh, much of an issue. I want to say there's about 50 thou. I can measure them when they come back, when I take the piece out. But, uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. That's the, that's the third one, so I need one more. I'd like to make some extras, because when I go to bend it, because it should look like this in the end. Um, you know, here I had I had holes drilled. Uh, so I, I maybe I might add that to shit. I might add that to the uh, the program. Not that I can put these back in and have them drilled, but uh, I can drill them manually. And they came out just over fifty thousand, fifty five, fifty six uh, thousands. There's a burr on there now because of uh, cutting it, but uh, I think I made them about a hundred tall, and then I ran the. Uh, I didn't finish the bottom cut until uh, 50 thou below. Okay, so that left about uh, uh, 60 thou. Uh, 50. I ran it down 50. I had 100 thou tabs. All right, that's the mill scale side. Uh, 
Uh, anyway, what I need to do is, these are flat right now. I need to get them bent, the w wings bent into it, so it becomes, it has its own built-in gussets, basically. And then when I weld it on, uh, it's way, way stronger than if it was just, you know, sitting there straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the CAD work, and I, I, could, I could do it on the CNC and, and everything, but by the time I... These I already have printed. They're from 013, from 2013, so they're three years old. So anyway, by the time I get these marked and manually drilled, you know, it, that's that's still going to be faster than uh, doing the CAD work. Why do I need new glasses? Ooh, pretty. I still got a bunch of these uh, eighth inch uh, Harbor Freight drills. Let's, uh, let's see how far we get. Got wobbly on the drill bit there. Wow, that was 32 holes and quarter inch thick 1018 uh, and it drilled the last one just as well as it drilled the first one uh, I didn't think it would last for half of them nice now how to get these things bent hmm pulled this out of the scrap bin had flame cut ends on it I, I just ground it down on the grinder belt grinder. Uh, I'll, I'll put some footage up of that because it, it really grinds it down fast. Uh, way faster than a stone grinder. Um, I think what I'm going to try to do here, I, I kind of remember doing this before. I don't really want to, I wanted to use something big and wide to spread the load because I don't want dimple marks all over here from uh, a punch or anything like that or a drift. So let's see. I might have to put some leather gloves on because if it starts ringing that's going to be a pain. It's starting. Let's overcome the fear factor a little bit. <laughs> ah. Put a dent in my vice. Wow, that uh, that's got a ways to go. Um, hmm, wish I could remember how the hell I did it. Oh, oh, let's try this. I don't know if the vice jaws can handle it. We will see. I don't know that it'll be much different because I, I can't really go up here. I'll start bending the at the hole again, but... Setting up a jig to bend them would certainly be uh, better. I could heat them up. I suppose that's an option. I suppose I could go look through some old video and see if I figure out how I did that. Well, I can, I can tell that it, I bent it in the vise. You can see the jaw marks at the holes there. Yeah, it's starting to bow this way because the mass is hitting it so hard here and this is trying to stay still. <laughs> it's uh, bending it. Um, man, I am going to weld it. So, you know, it might just be better if I either put a cut on the outside or put a cut on the inside. 
Now, can you can see that twist. <laughs> And pretty much everybody, anybody who's watched me for a while knows that I'm short. So I might have to see about putting me a remote button somewhere. Do re mi fa sola ti do ti la so fa mi re do.